guys, I am back to do my wedding tips, but a uh, video, sorry, how to plan a wedding on a budget. And I wanted to come back and now that I'm done with my wedding and share what I learned. If you want to see our wedding, a full video of our wedding, um, you can click down below. I just posted it on our new family channel. So please head over there and watch it after this and subscribe to our family channel as well as my channel here. Uh, please and then I'm just gonna jump right in because I don't want the video to be too long and I've already filmed this video so I feel like I can do it better because um, the first time I filmed it it was out of focus and so here I go again but it should make me faster um, the first big suggestion I have is to um, think about the big picture guest experience don't spend a lot of money on uh, small details that are forgettable and always ask yourself is this going to matter will anybody remember this and if not then maybe that's something you can do DIY or is something you can do like buy the cheaper version of whatever that thing is think about big picture um, what is your guest experience going to be like and the way that we did that is we focused on fun we wanted our wedding to be really really fun and we had a caricature artist uh, during our cocktail hour we had samba dancers during our reception um, we also um, had our music curated very um, precisely we were saving music thinking about music all year and re we both had a list that we were keeping and then we curated each section of our wedding according to the mood that we were trying to set um, so, and we got so much good feedback on the music, so that made it fun. And then also the food, we wanted to make that memorable. We wanted to be, we wanted to have modern food, but we also didn't want to break the bank. Um, but that's something that people remember. So we spent money on food. Um, I also used, um, uh, certain vendors to uh, get things for cheaper so I used Gigi salad to book the samba dancers and the caricature artists and there you can get different bids from different um, uh, service providers you just type in what you're looking for what type of entertainment and then you get different people and different prices and you can pick I also use taskrabbit.com to get people to help with the setup and the cleanup of the wedding uh, in addition to our wedding planners because I had a lot of stuff that was kind of um, going to be done that day of so I saved a little bit of money doing doing that and task rabbit is just helpful for if you need to hire somebody because um, the people compete on their prices as well and then Fiverr which is a similar website that you can get like your table seating or your table chart done somebody can do that for you for like five dollars um, and then we oh for fun we also had a photo booth so um, that was something that people really really enjoyed uh, and then I use Amazon, Etsy, and U printing a lot. So I use Amazon. Um, I got like candles on there. I got my veil on there because I didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a piece of fabric. So I got my veil on Amazon for like $20 and I just typed in a cathedral long veil and it had good reviews and it looked beautiful the day of and I'm so happy with that veil and I was so happy I saved money. Uh, Etsy I got our wedding binder printable from and just our wedding binder in general helped us save a lot of money because it kept us organized. So I'll put a video in about our wedding binder here. Okay, so here is our wedding binder. Um, yeah, so at the front I had our um, calendars which I use throughout to kind of mark like meetings and things I needed to do. And then I had our my vision boards that I used um, to kind of guide me. So this is a board for my pictures for my myself and my dress. This was the board for couples pictures. I send these to the photographer. This is the board for my bridesmaids uh, look. So I actually ended up doing that one and uh, we were like staggered. I kind of like that like staggered look and I got that. This was my mood board for the ceremony. So you can see the wedding sign and the program fans, my bouquet, which was very much like this. Um, so that was the inspiration. I did all of this stuff. Um, so funny to look at this stuff now. Um, and this was the mood board for the reception and it looked, now that I'm looking at this, so similar. 
like I had the rows in a line, I had these, I had marble table numbers, but with numbers similar to that. Um, I had these in addition to these boxes. Um, this was um, the look I was going for, which I got. It's like, wow. So I highly recommend making vision boards for each part of, sorry, I'm getting comfortable, of the, the wedding. This was our layout. This helped us have everything set up and it evolved from so many different looks. Um, but yeah, here's what the rest is in the rest of the binder. Um, so you have basic planning tools, timeline, the bridal party attire, and we had a lot of this in electronic form too. I like to keep things paper copy and then my husband is electronic so we had spreadsheets as well for most of this stuff so we didn't have to just look at all the paper and handwritten stuff. But then you can see I had my to-do list, I had our budget, had our contacts, guests, uh, venue, contracts, and then vendors, and then um, songs, and then like the day of stuff was at the back. So I kept all the paper contracts in here. This was so convenient and handy, especially at meetings with vendors and just keeping up with things. And uh, it's very helpful. And I got the, I made the cover myself and I got the inputs from Etsy, a store on Etsy. So you could just type in uh, wedding binder inserts. I also used Etsy to do, I was a maid of honor and I had a binder like this to plan for my maid of honor duties and it was really helpful. Hey Coco. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend a wedding binder and I'll get back to the video. Somebody wanted to make a cameo. Oh. <laughs> And I also used Etsy to get gifts for the grooms. Um, and we got them these um, personalized like leather bags um, with their initials on the front and on the side. And then we put inside like a, a bottle, a little small bottle of whiskey and a cigar and a cigar, cigar cutter. Um, and then I also, I got my bridesmaids gifts, um, was a combination of things. We got them a small champagne bottle and a gift card to Sephora, which was like a nice gift. Who doesn't love Sephora? Um, but it was also because it was a gift card. Um, you could keep it in the price that you want to spend that you want to spend on each person and still get them something nice. And then I also got um, a necklace, two necklaces um, for my maid of honor, my matron of honor. Um, and then you printing. I did a lot of designs on my computer myself. So I did our invitations. I did our wedding program fans. I did our welcome sign. I got all that, um, designed all that on my computer and then I made them. So this was our program friend fan. I had that printed on like this thicker paper, glossy paper at U printing because it's cheaper than FedEx. And, um, I just bought these on Amazon and glued them on there. So that was our fan. And then our invitations, I did like a sticker for the outside um, return label, which was marble, keeping it in our theme. And then I just designed these on my computer. I bought this trifold. Um, sorry, it's not in here, right? So basically, I designed the sticker, you printing, a little in, people opened it, designed this, glued it on there, and then the details, cards on the side. Just search trifold envelope. I think I got these on Amazon or maybe a specialty store, can't remember. Um, and then I also, as far as DIY, did our card box. So I just got these craft card boxes, hat boxes, I think they are, or maybe they were just square boxes. And I covered them with marble contact paper. And I'll put a picture in here. And... Um, I just covered the boxes and made the car box that way. Um, I also bought chalkboard signs like in white frames, I think at the dollar store or on Amazon and white chalk paint pen. And I did our, I made our favor sign. I made our bar sign. Um, I made all those our signs.
of, let's see. And then as far as DIY, you just wanna ask yourself first, you wanna try one round out first by yourself. So we were gonna do rose boxes, all the rose boxes at our wedding, and I'll talk about our florist in just a second. Um, and then we, we did one box filling them with roses and we decided, my husband was like, no, we're not doing this. Mm -mm, we're going to hire florists. And so we did. So I, for the florist, she did the reception tables. I provided her with the boxes cause I already had them and it would save us a little money rather than renting them cause I bought them wholesale. And then I also, um, for our wedding party flowers, like the corsages and the boutonnieres and all that stuff, I got those from Costco. Uh, my florist did my bouquet, but all the other wedding party people and the parents got those from Costco wholesale, like wedding flowers. I, I just wanted roses and um, baby's breath, so it was pretty simple. And I didn't want the girls to hold a bouquet because I don't like that look. Um, so they had corsages, and it, it, that, that's one of those things that people aren't going to notice or remember. So whatever was the cheapest, and it was cheaper than the florist doing them. I also bought the rose petals instead of getting them from the florist from Costco because they were way cheaper. Um, white rose petals real and they deliver them to you like a couple of days before and it works out fine then I would say um, I'm talking fast I'm like running out of breath uh, oh the planner uh, the planner what we did was it is I do suggest getting a planner I don't think it's a good idea to do it by yourself because they just tell me you so many things that you can never think of because you haven't well, maybe you have been married, but I, you know, most of us watching this for the first time are getting married for the first time. So um, they just tell you, help you with things that you don't think of. So I do suggest getting one. But the way we did it to save money was we got a package where they came in the first three months. She came in. She helped us get everything with the venue set up, all the vendors and contracts set. And she helped us, like, find things. Um, and then... And then she came in the last three months and helped us like finalize everything, set up the timeline, coordinate with vendors, make sure everything was like checked and rolled and make sure was, everything was right with the venue. And then she brought her team the day of and it was it was really nice. And I suggest going that way, especially if you know what you want. You don't need someone the whole time you're engaged telling you going with you to meetings and because you're going to have to go anyway yourself. So why pay someone if you know what you want, if you don't want someone else's opinion, just, you know, do it that way. I think it's a good way to still have a planner. Um, but not uh, spend buku amounts of money because I have friends that did the full engagement planner thing and they were so disappointed um, and felt like it wasn't worth it. So I like that idea better. Uh, and we also found our photographer on Craigslist. So we use Craigslist to find, I don't know if I already said this because I talked about this in the last video, but I don't know if I just talked about it in this video, but we'll see. Uh, we found our photographer and videographer on Craigslist. We just basically put an ad and said we wanted to pay and what we wanted. We wanted prints. We wanted um, like different lengths of videos for Instagram and for longer for YouTube. We also wanted um, a certain amount of hours the day of and an assistant uh, to the two of them. So um, that's what we asked for and that's what we got. <clears throat> and then um yeah because all the photographers that we were looking for were so expensive and i was just like you know being a model in the modeling industry i'm like i know uh weddings hike everything up but i know photographers don't cost that much um and so i was um searching around and i got the idea i think from watching a youtube video yeah watch a lot of youtube videos um because there's girls that have been through it before and you can just learn things from other people um and anyway, so I learned that and I did it and I'm glad we did because we got a really, really good deal. Um, and they were amazing. Like you can see if you follow me on Instagram, underscore Tiffany Shelton, our photographers and videographer did such a good job. We get so many compliments on the video that's posted. So you guys should check it out. Um, it's in the link below. I posted our full wedding video on our family YouTube channel. So please subscribe. And yeah. Oh, and I also did my own makeup. So I did my own makeup because... I don't want to hire a makeup artist because I know how to do my makeup and I actually usually don't like it when other people do my makeup, but I have to tweak it. So I might as well just do it myself and saved a lot of money there. Um, so those are my wedding tips. Congratulations. I'm going to end it quickly because I don't want it to be too long, but 
happy saving be present i hope you have moments of stillness and peace to take it all in because that's important as well just to be mindful and so it doesn't go by fast mine i felt like we really got to savor and have fun with our guest and um yeah congratulations namaste